Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylarius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah. <laughs> what's up everyone? Uh, before we get started, I apologize. I sound like death. I've just been sick uh, for the past couple of days and yeah, so but we had a new car come out, uh, the Pegasi Torero. So I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a, of a video on here, check out some of the performance features and things like that. And of course, like I always do, just let you know whether or not it's a good buy for performance reasons and I've talked about a few other things as well on here. Uh, as always, man, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content. The game, make sure you smash. I mean, smash, smash that like button. Hell yeah. You can find this guy in uh, in Legendary Motorsports. Right off the bat, Sticker Shock. It is a million dollar car. $998,000 for a 80s Lamborghini. Okay, I mean, oh my God. The description is hilarious, though. I love this. Check it out. To own a Pegasi Torero is to own a piece of history. This car marked the end of an era. A bygone age when porn stars had luxuriant pubic hair and supercars didn't take risks. Then along came the Torero, a wedge-shaped, scissor-doored stallion fresh from a back sack and crack, and nothing was ever the same again. Decades later, it still looks like it's rolled straight off the wet dream, or straight out of a wet dream, wearing nothing but a glint in its eyes. This is one for the collectors. And as you see, it's a million bucks. And I uh, went ahead and purchased this bad boy. I already knew it ahead of time what it was going to be like. I just didn't... I mean, the Countach, I mean, this car is based off the Lamborghini Countach, which is a really cool car for its, you know, its era and its age. And it did set a lot of, uh, you know, trends and very robust vehicle and things like that. It is a sports classic vehicle. So it's in there with like the Infernus, the uh, Grotti Cheetah, which we see right there, the, you know, the Cheetah Classic and the uh, Turismo Classic, the Sterling GT and things like that. It looks pretty cool. It looks just like a Countach. It's got that weird engine thing like the Infernus where they're like not even together and stuff like that. A really weird feature is a spoiler option on the hood. That just looks stupid as hell to me. They probably really did have that. The 80s is like a weird thing. This is like a weird decade for everything. Music, clothes, hair, cars, all that stuff. Uh, it is a rear wheel drive vehicle. Um, so, you know, that, that can kind of give you an idea of what kind of handling it's going to have and things like that. If you're a drifter and stuff. Uh, another car where the uh, second set of headlights do not work. I hate that Rockstar does this. I mean, God, come on, man. Like, how hard is it just to have an extra little set of headlights turn on in the game? I mean, I can't believe that. It really bums me out. I mean, it's bad enough that the rear view mirrors and things like that don't, don't work on the car, but whatever. Uh, it's got the scissor Lambo doors, little tiny uh, trunk in the front of the car and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. That does look nice. And it has some decent customizable options. Nothing that's going to, like, you know, blow the doors off or whatever. Uh, we're here on my top speed straight line drag track. Uh, it's a track that I built here. Did several runs on this. Got a decent idea of what the speed was. Uh, and just like the description says, this car is for the collectors. It is not the best performing vehicle, okay, at all, in my opinion. Uh, I'd probably say, you know, you've got cars like the Turismo Classic, which is, in my opinion, and w others as well. The best car for the sports classic category. You got the Grotti Cheetah, uh, the classic Cheetah, or whatever. That, that's going to be one of the best cars too. It's right there. Up. You got the uh, the the Sterling GT, the Infernus. Hell, the Z Type is still one of the fastest cars in a straight line. I mean, it's it's up there. It's like top five, top seven, something like that. Um, so I mean, this car is really honestly for the class. It's for people who have a, a bunch of money. That don't worry about, you know, that aren't real big into performance and things like that. I am. I, I look at cars. I look at everything in this game as something that can make you money. This car will not make you money. It'll just cost you money. Uh, you're looking at a million dollars for the car alone, plus between three and four hundred thousand for, for 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 uh, for customization and things like that. You're upwards of one point five million for a car that is going to sit in your garage. Honestly, you know, it's the handling is. And we're going to see that here coming up. The handling is atrocious on this car. It is not good. It is very, very dodgy. It's uh, inconsistent. Um, you may think I'm bashing this car, but I mean, that it is. It's, it's very, very similar to the way the car really came out in, in back in the 80s. A 1 minute 25 is quite slow, for this car in a straight line. Um, I mean, that, that's, pretty, that, that's pretty slow. Uh, we're going around my track. This is uh, my circuit that I use here to test my video. It's a fast track. Uh, but it's a very, very good rendi or very good uh, telltale sign of how cars will perform on a lot of races in this game. 
there is no hairpins you know don't freak out about that okay guys you know every track is different every car is different every driver is different this gives you a good idea of you know for a, a base idea for these kind of cars and things like that uh, I did 10 laps and about 30 laps testing on this get an idea of what it was going to do um, and this car is very slow man it's just not on the pace it really isn't um, I'm sure on some tracks it can be decent uh, but I'd say on ninety five percent of all tracks, this car is gonna lose. I mean, period. So for performance wise, I do not recommend going with this car. Only go with this car if you got plenty of money to blow and you just want you know nostalgia and things like that. So uh, yeah, five minutes eleven, twenty nine second, almost a thirty second best lap. Uh, that's pretty rough right there. So I hope this helps out. If you guys got any questions or uh, or anything at all, just leave them in the comments down below. Uh, definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illustrator Reels content again. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash, smash that like button. I'm going back to bed. I'll holler at you guys later. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.